Hello everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief on this Friday. Over the next few weeks, school leaving ceremonies will take place across the Cayman Islands. Dozens of students from Prospect Primary are saying farewell to their school as they head to high school come fall. At the school leaving ceremony this week, parents, family, friends and other invited guests applauded the achievements of their children. Various awards were presented to students including the Principal's Award, the Spirit Award and the Student Improvement Award as well as school leaving certificates. We will always remember Prospect Primary School because it contributed a lot to our foundation. We are truly grateful. I would particularly like to thank the PTA for all their amazing support. Without them, so much of what we do could not happen. Throughout their time with us, we have seen the students behind me grow as individuals, becoming more confident, in some cases too confident. <laughs> um, but they're ready for high school. Well, students from Edna Moa Primary School Year 6 class are also moving on to high school in late August. This week, the young girls and boys said farewell to their primary school year after, uh, years rather, after receiving their special awards for various achievements, including good citizenship, cultural arts, and consistent effort. You supported one another in class despite your squabbles, and most importantly, you showed a great deal of respect for your teachers. You have genuinely been one of our best. I will miss your greetings as you approach me with big smiles on the playground or in the hall to say, Miss Duran, your favorite kids are here. <laughs> it matters most what you think of yourself rather than what anyone else thinks of you. And if you do not think highly of yourself, you will teach others to treat you in that same way. So I know that it's during this time of life where you need the most approval and the most encouragement. However, you may not always get that from others. And oftentimes you'll have to be your own biggest cheerleader and believe in yourself first before expecting others to. We say a huge congratulations to the students and we invite you to join us next week as we continue to highlight school leaving ceremonies at the island's primary schools. Well, earlier this week, the Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan, announced the drive to have persons who didn't register for the tourism stipend to do so. Those who have benefited from receiving a tourism stipend are now encouraged to complete a mandatory survey in an effort to collect critical data. The Ministry of Tourism has launched a survey that must be completed by everyone who receives the tourism stipend. The survey is mandatory and can be accessed at stipend Dot our Cayman dot KY. It takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes to complete and it must be submitted no later than the 2nd of July 2021. Government is asking for this information because we need to have accurate data to help us make informed decisions and to plan for the future needs of our country. My ultimate goal as Minister of Tourism is to ensure that all of our displaced tourism workers who wish to return to the tourism industry are given first preference to fill the tourism vacancies. The data collected from this survey will allow for more accountability and it will help me to ensure that the skills of our Caymanian people are being matched with the available jobs. When taking the survey, it is very important to be honest and answer the questions truthfully. In closing, I would like to remind you that this survey is mandatory and it starts today and ends on July the 2nd and is available at stipend.ourkman.ky. Thank you for your cooperation and support. And you can watch the minister's entire message on the CIG television YouTube channel. New signage unveiled earlier today with His Excellency the Governor, the Premier, Ministers, senior civil servants and other invited guests watching as a seafarer's way dedication and renaming ceremony took place. The official renaming of the sections of the downtown Georgetown waterfront as Seafarer's Way is in honor of and to recognize the outstanding contribution made by our seafarers. Now, today, Friday, the 25th of June, is the United Nations International Day of the Seafarer, and to mark the occasion and the celebration and recept a celebration and reception for the newly named renamed Seafarer's Way was held 
with lots of people attending. Turning to the forecast, a high temperature reached 88 degrees below 77. We can expect partly cloudy skies throughout the day with a 40% chance of showers and thunder. Winds are from the east to southeast at 5 to 10 knots. Seas are slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. Now, the synopsis calls for isolated showers with light easterly winds and slight seas, which are expected over the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours as an upper level system over the Cayman area interacts with a tropical wave over the Northwest Caribbean. Radar images show isolated uh, showers are in and around the Cayman area. They're moving towards the Northwest. A reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that ends today's news brief here at CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us today and throughout the week and inviting you back here again on Monday. Until then, be safe and have a wonderful weekend. Yeah. Well, so you, this, you want to do it again? Yeah. From there. Then. And you. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, like a, I guess it says what it is. Um, it's like sending a car gift card out there going, hey, I'm free, I'm single, I'm free, come get me. <laughs> Just, it's something like that. <laughs> so I guess you were single when you were... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go. <laughs> He's never single. <laughs> 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 You got an open invitation if you want me.